Hello, my name is Andy, and I am the village idiot, a man with a car and a GoPro, and an unhealthy amount of time on my hands, and I've decided to start this one off inside a bus stop. Even though it's not raining, I just figured this would be a nice place to start, considering this bus stop is right on the boundary between two parishes. Two, by the way, which I can walk around without even having to move the car. Now, you've seen the first one, that was Havercroft with Cold Hindley. Well, today, we're going the other way. Here are some of the buses you can catch. We are on Mill Lane, Havergroft Green, in the parish of Rye Hill. Right, so having just passed the school, there's a little footpath you can walk down, which takes you to Station Road, which is where I'm stood right now. And if you were to follow Station Road that way, which is westwards, you eventually come to Cold Hindley, which we saw in the Havercroft with Cold Hindley episode. Now, I'm not gonna walk up here because from the map, it looks like a lot of the, the properties and things down here are just mainly residential. There's not really, uh, I, I, as far as I can tell, not really much I can see uh, apart from housing along there. So for that reason, we're gonna head the other way, which is much more interesting. So as you can see, it's not greatly obvious. The only real clues you have that there was a railway even here is this 
former railway bridge which now looks more just like a wall at the side of the road and these trees and everything else that's down here are now obviously obscuring the fact that down there there used to be a railway line but there you have it that's just what happens to abandoned stations these days some get preserved and some are obviously left to be overgrown and almost forgotten about but uh, this bridge is the only sort of clue we have here that there used to be a railway line and there's a few things to see down here uh, the first thing I'm going to show you is this little footpath here which you can walk down if you were to come from the school over there and if you take this footpath as you can see it will take you I don't know whether you can see it, it might be a little bit too small for you to read but that up there says public footpath to Ferry Top Lane and Winterset Reservoir uh, Winterset is a parish we haven't seen yet and the reservoir I don't know whether you can I don't know whether you can see it from here, but I'll just have a look anyway. No, you can't see it. It's down there somewhere. We will be seeing that at some point. you Rye Hill and Havercroft people are very friendly. I've just met Steve, the church warden. Now, I, for I forgot my mask. I forgot to bring it out of the car with me. Um, and my car is a long way away at the moment. Uh, and of course, the church, with it being open, it would have been a bit of a shame not to film inside it. But uh, Steve, the lovely church warden there, uh, let me uh, borrow uh, a mask so that I could go in and have a look inside St. James's Church. Okay, we are now turning to the right and we're heading up to the top of Mostel Lane and then we're going to head down through the housing estates into the cemetery.
My regular viewers will remember the Canvey Island episode, of course, where I was attacked by a swarm of midges along the esplanade in that episode. Well, everywhere I've walked this morning, I've had the same problem. This high vis may have to come off in a moment. I'm hoping they all go away. There's loads of them around. So you might have noticed in a couple of places here, Havercroft and Rye Hill are together referred to as Rycroft. And I suppose that makes sense because it's quite a mouthful to say Rye Hill and Havercroft or Rye Hill and Havercroft with cold hindley. So I suppose the residents around here shortening it to Rycroft does make a little bit of sense. So how's this for a little bit of a look? I found the shade of a tree which actually happens to be right on the boundary between Rye Hill and Havercroft with Cold Hindley. It's right here on Maidley Road. Those houses you're looking at in shot here are there in Havercroft and all those houses over there are in Rye Hill. But to be honest with you, both of these parishes together, they're like inseparable twins. They're forever going to be together and quite frankly why they're not all one parish, I don't understand it. But <laughs> that's just the weird and, wonderful uh, weird and wonderful nature of parish boundaries. Sometimes they do these things. <laughs> and here in uh, Wakefield, there's one that runs right through this estate, separating one from the other. Okay. You've seen them both now, both these twins, and I've been able to do these two without having to move the car, which is fantastic. Um, so yeah, brilliant. 
that's two more down in Wakefield and there will be a third one that I'm filming this morning that's coming uh, in a couple of days time which is uh, local to these two in fact it borders one of them um, so it will be shared with you guys in the Rye Hill and Havercroft group that I'm in and thank you so much for uh, all your input uh, it's been very helpful for me to make both these two videos okay I've been Andy, I've been the Village Idiot, and I will see you again somewhere in Wakefield. This has been the Parish of Rye Hill, and I'm out.